Earth Day is tomorrow, but we here at News 8 are sharing stories all week in an effort to build awareness of issues facing our environment. You may not know it, but the roots of a plant can make all the difference when it comes to cleaner air. News 8's Netta Irampour is here with this Earth 8 report to explain. You probably already know fossil fuels, one of the leading causes of sending carbon dioxide into our atmosphere, and that's really what's warming our planet. You may remember in science class, plants can actually help clean up that carbon dioxide, sucking it out of the air. So what if scientists could harness these plants to have them clean up even more? Well, that's what they're doing with the Salk Institute, and we have rare access inside this greenhouse where this research is going on. This is where row after row of plants, specifically soybean, are being tested to see how much carbon dioxide they can suck out of the air. So it's kind of like a lab on a just way larger scale. Greenhouse operations lead with Salk Institute. McKenna Hopwood says it all starts with a variety of seeds. The seedlings grow here where you can see those highly desired, highly effective roots. It's those roots researchers are counting on to take carbon out of our atmosphere and sequester it deep into the soil. I hope we save the world, right? <laughs> That's the goal. Um, so I'd love just to be able to come up with the, the concept and the amount of time that we have. The idea with Salk Institute's Harnessing Plants initiative is to change the roots of plants. And the three goals are deeper roots, more roots, and then more carbon in the root system. Mainly crops like corn, wheat, rice, soybean, canola, and sorghum. So those vast fields of agriculture all across the planet not only supply our world with food, but those crops will also clean up our act. Crops are some of the most prevalent plants on this planet because there are, you know, millions of people, farmers all over the world who cultivate crops and, and a lot of land where if you would make just a few crops better in storing carbon for longer, you'd have an enormous impact. Plant biologist and professor with Salk Institute Wolfgang Bush says this climate emergency requires immediate innovation. It takes um, a while until society can transition away from its dependency of, uh, on fossil fuels, and that's super important. But what this also tells us is that we already have unsafe levels for, of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, so we need methods to draw it down. Right now, they are testing out various soybean seeds in this greenhouse to come up with the right concoction of seeds that would make roots grow deeper into the soil and roots that would last longer, all to capture the most carbon possible. So the leaves are like very, very important. They're kind of the carbon capture devices. And so we're thinking of roots as carbon storage devices. This is something that has the full support from renowned scientist, global climate leader, Dr. Vera Badran Rabinathan at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Salk Institute has a way to coax the roots to become, I call them fat true solution, make the roots fatter. Dr. Ramanathan points out one trillion tons of CO2 have spewed into our atmosphere and we would need to clear out at least half that 500 billion tons ideally in the next 40 years. The mother nature already takes the carbon out of the air. It took 25 percent of all the junk we dumped in. Okay, Otherwise it would have been a catastrophic problem already. And for those who study plants, they recognize plants have figured out how to protect our planet. So why not harness that natural power to further clear our air? They've received multiple grants over the past couple years, totaling about $80 million. And they'll have another three years to fully research and try out variations of these seeds. And the goal is to have farmers plant those seeds to produce more of these carbon cleaning crops. For Earth 8, I'm Nettie Iran for.